ACC's faculty are committed to the mission of ACC. They believe in social equity, equal access, and the transformative power of higher education. It's our faculty who choose to use open educational resources, openly licensed, freely available course materials. That choice not only makes those materials available to our students on the first day, but saves our students money. Thanks to our faculty, in the last four years, we have saved our students $8.5 million in textbook costs. My motivation for switching to OER was money, pure and simple. The students are dealing with so many other things in their lives and so many other barriers and challenges to education that the, the text shouldn't be ever the barrier or the challenge. But the student response to OER has been excitement across the board. I think that they are very appreciative of the fact that so much of the faculty at ACC has their best interests at heart and do want to provide not just free resources, but the best possible free resources that uh, we can get our hands on. When all students have access to the same materials and there is no uh, inherent disadvantage in that, like within the within the course content, that, that in and of itself is revolutionary. This notion of open educational resource is actually close to my heart and my interest as well. This I believe is not only to enhance the learning experience for a student, but for an educator as well. In this current age where flexibility and customization um, and timeliness become so important, textbooks were just not a technology that can keep up with that. Even if it's a brand new textbook, the um, some of the information in the articles and the takes on various things are like uh, a couple of years old. It is always changing every single day. Things are being published constantly. With open educational resources and the fact that as faculty, we can uh, remix and, and continue to change and develop the curriculum it's made my teaching more dynamic because I'm changing as needed um, and trying to get the most up-to-date examples and sample. The library has done an excellent job of collating and presenting this material. So even if you feel like, I don't even know where to start, then um, most departments have a librarian assigned to that department and they're responsive, um, they'll get back to you. They will find articles, even if I just ask a simple question, sometimes I get an email that's like, here's 10 articles I found because they get carried away and they have fun with it too. We everything from lesson plans to full textbooks to full courses to assignments to, you know, it's just uh, rubrics, anything you can imagine. I think OER can be a step toward creating more creative, more dynamic, personalized learning experiences. Now that I've experienced OER, I'm like, everything should be OER. And it's frustrating when resources are not OER, because I'm like, don't you understand like how important it is that this is OER so it can be made available to everyone, or that it would be easier to incorporate certain things into my class. Go out there, find what works for you, um, and just have fun and experiment. Be mindful of your student's budget when it comes to what you're assigning, whether it be more affordable uh, published uh, material or be open-minded to OER. Consider creating and sharing your own OER and apply for the current grants available in implementing and developing OER, which I also did. We should uh, do uh, everything that we can to foster student success and not just success in our class, but so that they can be successful individuals in the world. We celebrate the work of our faculty. We encourage you, if you're not already familiar with open educational resources, to explore what's available, even if it's just for one course module. Join us in this effort to help our students succeed. Thanks.